SOP life cycle. The life cycle of a standard operating procedure consists of six stages as shown in the schematic on the screen. These are initiation, where the need for a new SOP is identified and the necessary approvals are obtained to commence development. Drafting, where the new SOP is written. Reviewing, where the draft version of the SOP is reviewed by appropriate members of staff to ensure it covers all required aspects and complies with all regulatory or standard requirements. Approvals, where the SOP is approved before it is released for use. Revision, where the SOP is revised to meet changing needs. Decommissioning, where the SOP is no longer required and is retired from use. We will now look at each of these steps in more detail. Stage 2, Drafting the New SOP The next stage in the SOP life cycle is drafting. There are many ways to write a SOP. The first consideration is that of format. Here are a few formats that can be used. Click on the format to find out more. Simple Steps Format This format is useful for short, routine procedures which have few possible outcomes and are fairly to the point. Apart from the necessary documentation and safety guidelines, it's really just a bullet list of simple sentences telling the reader what to do. Hierarchical Steps Format This format is useful for long procedures with more than 10 steps and entails making a few decisions. In addition, they often involve clarification and defining terminology. This format usually consists of a list of main steps, all with substeps in a very specific order.